Salut. So we know all about how adjectives work in French. We know that they come after the noun that they describe, usually, and we know that they agree in number, singular or plural, and gender, masculine or feminine, with the words that they describe. Um, we've learned some patterns, for example, some never change, like marron and orange and noisette. We've learned that some adjectives are just regular and normal. You add an E if something's feminine. You add an S if it's plural. You add ES if it's feminine plural. And we've also learned that most adjectives that already end in an unaccented E, like timid, they just stay the same for the feminine form and they keep that E. We also know that if an adjective already ends in an S, like the color gris, I don't add more S's to make that color plural. Um, what we are going to look at today are some irregular patterns. So there are a lot of adjectives in French, and while it seems random at first, you can point out certain patterns that those adjectives follow to be masculine or feminine, singular or plural. And so we're going to learn five new patterns today. The first pattern is that you double the last consonant, then you add your E. We saw this with the nationality Italian or Canadian. Canadien, masculine, becomes Canadienne, N-N-E on the end. We saw it in French 1 with the color purple. Violet became violette, where I double the T, then I add an E. We are going to see a category where the masculine form ends in if the letters if the feminine form becomes eve i v e we will see a pattern where if the word ends in o it changes to l bo masculine bel feminine we will also see adjectives that end in e u x become e u s e notice that all these feminine forms still end in e's that's a pattern that we'll see um, and then group number five is just weird ones, ones that don't fit into a set pattern. They just do their own thing. Um, this is a lot to learn and practice with. The more you practice with them, the more you will learn and memorize these adjectives and their special patterns. Here's our first category where, where we double the last letter and then add an E, and then we put S's on everything for plural. So the word good is bon. The word fat or large, like a big fat cat, is gros, gros. Brainy, intellectual, smart, is intellectuel, intellectuel. And the color purple I mentioned before, violet. Here are the four forms that exist for each of these words. Bon, bon, bun, bun. I double the last letter, add an E. For plurals, I add S's. Gros. Gros, gras, gras, intellectuel, 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 sounds the same, intellectuel, violet, violet, violette, violette. So this category, bon, gros, intellectuel, and violet are ones where I double the last letter and add an E. There are a lot more that fit into this category. These are the four we will be practicing with currently. The idea, though, is that once you learn these patterns, I could give you any adjective in French and you would know how to change it to make it agree with a different subject. Here are adjectives that end in if and change into Yves. One example is the word naive, which is a French word that we stole and put in English, and maybe you never knew why those dots were there. Remember the tréma separates two sounds, so it makes it a i aif, naif, instead of a naif. If I forgot those accents, this word would be pronounced naif, but it's pronounced naif. If you're naive, you're kind of innocent, don't know a lot about life. Naif, naif, naive, naive. These are the four forms of the word naive in French. Athletic, if you are athletic, you are sportif, sportif. A female is sportive, sportive. So again, naïf and sportif become naïve and sportive. This next pattern is words that end in E-A-U, like the word beau, which means beautiful, beau. And the word nouveau, which means new, like something is new, a new car. Nouveau, 
and bo, when they become plural masculine, you just put an X on the end, kind of like when we learned that the word bureau and the word animal, they end in Xs instead of Ss. Bo becomes belle for feminine singular, belle, beautiful, belle. Nouvelle, new, feminine, nouvelle. And then we have belle, nouvelle with Ss. Bo, beau, belle, belle. Nouveau, nouveau, nouvelle, nouvelle. Category number four is when something's masculine, it'll end in EUX, which is pronounced E, like the number two, de, de, E, becomes EUS for feminine, EUS. So happy, the word happy is ERE which is just the least happy sounding word there is, heureux, like, yeah, I'm so thrilled, heureux, but that's the word for happy in French, heureux, keeps its X for masculine plural, we don't make any changes, so two guys, ils sont heureux, they are happy, heureuse, feminine, happy, heureuse, feminine plural, heureux, 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 heureuse, heureuse, and then um, I throw the word mal, which means bad. I put mal on f in front to say not happy at all, unhappy. Malheureux, malheureux, malheureuse, malheureuse. Curieux, curious, curieux, curieuse, curieuse. Nervous, nerveux, nerveux, nerveuse. Nerveuse and serious, sérieux, sérieux, sérieuse, sérieuse. So here's the masculine and feminine forms one more time. Heureux, malheureux, curieux, nerveux, sérieux, heureuse, malheureuse, curieuse, nerveuse, sérieuse. Here's the group of weird ones. They do their own thing. You might remember blanc from French one. Blanc, the color white, becomes blanche when it's feminine. Blanc, blanc, blanche, blanche. Here's a cool word. The word proud is fier. Fier, fier, becomes fier, feminine. Fier, fier, proud. Long, long. For long, like long hair, les cheveux longs, becomes longue, longue. I hear the G sound more, longue. The word redheaded is pronounced roux. Roux keeps its X, roux for plural. Rousse, I told you these were weird, they do their own thing. Rousse is feminine, singular, redheaded. Rousse is feminine, plural. And then, Here's a really important word. Vieux means old. Vieux. Vieux becomes vieille. Look at this spelling. V-I-E-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Vieille. To me, it sounds like the letter V and the letter A. V-A, like Virginia. V-A, if that helps you remember. V-A, plural, is V-A. So here they are. Blanc, blanc, blanche, blanche, white. Fier, 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 proud. Long, 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 long. Roux, roux, rousse, rousse, redheaded. Vieux, vieux, vieille, vieille, old. There are a lot more that follow this lack of pattern that do their own weird thing. These are some big ones that we'll see. There are lots of irregulars. However, there's more that follow a pattern than ones that don't. So don't be discouraged if these are hard to get the hang of. You just need practice and um, reviewing, studying, memorizing these. You will get better at learning how all of these adjectives agree. Um, and we need to know that there's four forms of each one and that there's five patterns that we're practicing with right now. So here are those five patterns. Here's our whole list put together. We have ones where we double the final consonant, then we add an E. We have ones where if becomes Eve, O becomes L, E becomes Euse, and the weird ones. 
So I'm going to read just the masculine singular, feminine singular forms one last time. Good, bon, bonne, fat, gros, grosse, brainy, intellectuel, intellectuel, purple, violet, violette, naïve, naïf, naïve, athletic, sportif, sportif, beautiful or handsome, beau, belle, new, nouveau, nouvelle, happy, heureux, heureuse, unhappy, malheureux, malheureuse, curious, curieux, curieuse, nervous, nerveux, nerveuse, serious, sérieux, sérieuse, white, blanc, blanche, proud, fier, fier, long, long, longue, red-headed, roux, rousse, old, vieux, vieille. Voilà beaucoup d'adjectifs irréguliers et on va pratiquer avec. Ciao!